What an incredible match. Brock versus Taker, the main event of WrestleMania. <laughs> oh, geez, I'm already thinking about WrestleMania 32. I can't even contain myself. I'm pumped. I want to grab my luggage, and I honestly want to pack my bags right now for WrestleMania 32. Honestly, last night I was pumped. I was on the... Uh, uh, I was on Skype with my buddy uh, Miguel, uh, my buddy Luke. Luke uh, uh, booked his hotel that he was going to be staying in for WrestleMania 32. You don't get any more fired up, but I, don't, I can feel it right here. My heart is really beating. <laughs> I am like, I am so pumped. Uh, like, uh, I, I don't want to say it because I don't mean it, but fuck Bola. I want to go to WrestleMania. Let, let's hurry up, dude. Let's get this over with. What a match this was here. Honestly, uh, you had um, Brock Lesnar coming down to the ring first, um, and then uh, under Taker comes out, and I stood here for the longest time. I, you know, I've been and sitting here. I, I finished off a uh, where the hell did it go? A, a one and a half or one and a quarter liter of Coke. Um, I didn't drink the whole thing. I drank some of this at my lunch. I brought it home and I finished it off while I was watching the show. So I really had to go. And as soon as Taker stepped out on the ramp, I, I went to the bathroom and I came back. And Taker still wasn't even in the ring yet. It just takes forever to get the damn ring. But um, once he gets in the ring. Um, you know, it, it, it's it's go time. I mean, like uh, Brock Lesnar immediately attacks Undertaker in the corner, uh, gets him down onto the mat, and he starts just wearing him down with an elbow. Just you know, I, you can really tell like when in the UFC fights when they get down on the ground, those those quick short little elbows driving the elbow into the face. That's what really wears you down, um, more than anything else, because that just fucking hurts. All the weight being put on the pressure of your face and just with the elbow just dragging it into it, and uh, immediately just fighting off. Taker uh, was getting his ass kicked. He looked like, uh, I've always thought of him as like Clint Eastwood. Um, sort of like that guy making his last stand in the movie Gran Torino. Uh, he's like got the old man fighting thing, like where you're trying to duck his hands uh, way up in the air, but his face is all tucked back so you can't get him. Um, 30 style boxing uh, with The Undertaker. But, um, you know, once these guys really get down into it, my notes are really fucking easy. I mean, like, F5, choke slam, tombstone. He kicked out. <laughs> he laughed back at him. Last ride, kicked out again. F5 number two, F5 number three, Hell's Gate, Kimura, what the fuck? Who rang the bell? Hell's Gate, he flipped him off. Taker wins. Oh man, did this happen? See you at 32. Uh, it doesn't get any easier than this. I mean, uh, they, they start fighting around. Brock hits the first F5. Um, he doesn't, uh, I think the Taker kicked out before two. I'm not 100% sure. Taker comes back. He hits a choke slam, follows it up with a tombstone, uh, goes for the cover. One, two, Brock kicks out. Um, they, they're fighting around on the floor. They're both laid out. Uh, Brock sits up and immediately does like the fake Undertaker and he starts laughing at him like he did at WrestleMania 30. Uh, and he also did against uh, um, John Cena at SummerSlam 2014. Uh, from there, Undertaker sits up and mocks uh, 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 Brock Lesnar with the... <laughs> it's just... Oh, this is great. This, this is awesome. Uh, they start fighting. Undertaker bounces off the ropes. Hits like a uh, last ride. Um, I, I, basically, at that point, we've seen Taker hit every move of his uh, arsenal except for the old school. Um, he hits the the, the, uh, the last ride. Um, from there, Brock starts getting him. Hits him with one F5. Follows it up with another F5. Goes for the cover. And at this point, Brock is sort of like just, what the fuck do I have to do? He's, 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 he's done everything that he could do that, that beat him the first time at WrestleMania 30. And uh, here he is giving it to him again. Uh, normally, uh, the three F5s is, is enough to put the guy down. Uh, from there, uh, we see uh, uh, Brock Lesnar um, locked into the Hell's Gate, uh, which um, he's able to turn into the Kimura. And in the inside of the Kimura, this is when it all gets lost. Basically, the, the ref starts ringing the bell. We don't know why. Charles Robinson is pissed. He's waving and do not say anything. Do not say anything. He doesn't want anybody to make an announcement. He doesn't want any music to play. Um, everybody's stunned. Nobody knows what the fuck to do. Um, Paul Heyman jumps into the ring. He slides in, thinking that Brock beat Taker yet once again. Uh, from there, Robinson and he never really says that the match is going to restart, but, but he's making sure that nobody says anything. He says, it's not your job, it's my job. Nobody rang the bell. Let's go. Taker uh, sneaks up from behind Brock Lesnar, gives him the good old nut shot right there with the thing, um, but locks him into the... Uh, the Hell's Gate, and when it looks like Brock is about to pass off, Brock puts his middle finger up, starts 
flipping off the Undertaker right into his face. And like uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin at WrestleMania 13, he just fades off into oblivion. At this point, Charles Robinson calls the match off. Taker gets the win um, officially. Um, once he leaves, um, you know, Paul Heyman runs over. He starts dinging the bell. He proclaims that Brock Lesnar is the one who won the belt. They show us the replay. And during um, the uh, the Kimura lock on the floor, Charles Robinson is on the opposite side. Uh, he's out of position. And with his right hand uh, being blocked by Brock and Taker, uh, Taker is tapping out against his leg. This is what the timekeeper saw. They made him ring the bell, but Charles Robinson, the referee, did not see. Um, so officially, in the books, Undertaker will get the win. Uh, but like I said at the beginning of this video, this only could mean WrestleMania 32. We are getting the rubber match. We are going to get Taker uh, versus Brock. And uh, I'm fucking pumped. Jeez, I'm pumped. See you guys.